Hello everyone, welcome. Today is Sunday Buys Part 6, where we buy crypto every single Sunday with a public portfolio reviewing price points and what to buy. And today we're only spending $150. I recently bought a lot of camera and lighting equipment to upgrade the channel. So today we only have $150, but it is better than nothing. Now on the channel from episode 1, we started with zero nothing in the portfolio and now we're sat at 946 dollars and i guarantee you no one else in this platform is showing this level of transparency of an actual portfolio live and what cryptos they are actually buying you know, when i watch videos i wonder to myself this person is talking about this cryptocurrency but do they actually even hold it and we will never ever know now to remind ourselves what's the actual goal of this series firstly it's to show the returns that can be made from a bear market to a bull market, right? I'm not trying to reach a certain amount of crypto or an actual dollar or pound amount to 10K, 20K, 30K. I'm trying to show how much returns in terms of percentages can be made in a bear to a bull market. Also, I'm trying to show how easy the dollar cost average process is. Realistically, this video could be two minutes long. I'm buying this for this reason, that reason, video over. And thirdly, how to actually take profit in the market not getting greedy following a systematic process in terms of percentages and we will move to taking profit later on in the series when the time is right now currently the portfolio comprises of low cap to micro cap cryptocurrencies you're not going to get the returns that you want from the top 10 or top 10 cryptocurrencies in the market except xrp in my personal opinion especially with a portfolio of this size you want to get those 10x's and beyond also there's six cryptocurrencies the last thing you want is over diversification arguably it's probably too diversified i want to keep it down to maybe four or three but we're here now a tweet or by myself a quote by warren buffett diversification may preserve wealth but concentration builds well, I'm concentrated on these assets. In terms of XRP, my bag is completely full. If you've seen this video from a year ago, I was actually saying I want more XRP. I do not have enough. Now, a year ahead, I am satisfied. In terms of LCX, I'm kind of not regretting putting it in the portfolio. I can't take out any. They're all fantastic investments. So in the future, we will have LCX. If you're wondering where I send these coins, most of it goes to decent hardware. What this kind of links are down below in a video down below teaching you how to set up. If your crypto is not in cold storage, if the FTX situation has not taught you anything, I do not know what will. So much money was stolen, make sure it's on cold storage. And lastly, give away at 7,000 subs. Make sure you leave a like down below to make it get faster to that goal. So the first crypto we're going to buy for today's video is going to be Quant Network QNT. A lot of reasons why. A lot more reasons, but let's just look at price for a second. From the start of 2023, we have been at the higher $150 levels. Then 140, 130, 120, 110. It was about a five, six month wait until we got to these positions at $100. There is a value at these levels. People never actually end up buying at these positions. They wait for lower and lower and never actually hit the buy button. Rather than we were at 140, 130, 150, people were calling for two hundred dollars again it's the same cycle do the opposite of what people say also when it comes to qnt beware of hackers around this individual quantum ronto got scammed out of 50 qnt 50 qnt watch the telegram scammers do not connect your ledger or anything to do with metamask watch these scammers down below asking to message you on whatsapp they are not real people and also fake twitter accounts this one had a blue tick 30k followers, it can be very, very misleading. And now apart from the obvious buying points for QNT at these low, low price points, here's one piece of info that was released today that maybe really want to buy QNT. First glance, looks quite bad. Overledger reduces crypto exposure. Let's actually read the article and dive a little bit deeper. So we can see a common complaint for businesses building blockchain solutions is the fact that public chains charge gas or transaction fees to perform functions. These are charged in cryptocurrencies, which means that businesses have little choice to but hold crypto on their balance sheets to cover these costs. Now they can pay for token deployment in fiat and everything else is handled by the treasury. This is huge. So much more new money is going to flow through by institutions without having to worry about to store, hold, sign crypto, 
for these transactions. But looking at it, it just makes sense, right? It makes sense. Also, the QNT token still has use. There's actually a question presented here by Decentralized. Why not use Quant for creating gas fees to expand Quant's utility? You do and you can. As part of your subscription and usage fees, taken out of your credit bundle. Remember, the overledger cannot function without QNT. So that in place out of the 150 to get one whole QNT, I will spend 103 of the 150. So here we go, 103 dollars by QNT. There we go. The portfolio stands at 1,059 dollars. Second choice, the remainder of that amount is going to be API free. Not only are the buying points very advantageous, around the one dollar price point. Considering since the actual dawn of this coin that is near around the lows, not far off. In terms of Oracle, so much room for growth. Chainlink taking the majority of that capitalization at 3.3 billion. Second one, ban protocol in place, only 156 million and fourth is API free. Not only all those things, but also in terms of staking during the bear market, how powerful that actually is in the compound effect. That we will see now just in terms of staking any crypto that you personally have belief in here is a calculator to show the potential returns that we could possibly see so in this portfolio i aim to get one thousand dollars worth of api free it might happen might not happen depending on the time scale that we actually have until the bull market but one thousand is what i'm aiming for for this one specific crypto so let's just say not as much as a year, but 180 day time span until prices actually increase. In terms of prices actually increasing, 1000% increase, which is 11x, isn't nothing crazy, especially for a low cap crypto like API free. So let's put moon, but I wouldn't even consider that moon in my personal opinion. And also we know staking at compounds over time. Now just for that yearly effect, you've gotten yourself an extra $767 and currently the APY is very, 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 very low due to overstaking in the actual pool itself at only 6.75%. Not long ago, it was up at 30%. It turns out of $65 remaining, I thought a lot less than that, but we will use that for the buy. So $65 worth of API free. And I might seem a little bit vague, having given too much information API free, I'm setting up for the actual video that I'm going to point you to right now of API free, where I talk about why it's the only Oracle you actually need will be linked in the top right there go and let me know what you think about api3 and that's pretty much it for today's video the final balance is 1123 dollars not too bad we're moving at a slow pace but it is a pace none the less let me know down below what cryptos would you add to the portfolio what cryptos are missing on the low and micro cap range i will go and check them out down below but if you made this far in the video, thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.